Okay, one more story and I'll let you get on with your day. And this story has to do with the, what I call the one-worlders and the two-worlders. And from my perspective, I have access to two worlds at any given moment. I have access to the world around me, and I have access, equal access, to the world inside me. Equal access. I can get to one as easily as I can get to the other. And yet, after having traveled across this country and uh, 60 some cities this year, um, I'm finding that most people out there are pretty well stuck into the being one-worlders, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. I've got a buddy, his name is Bob. Bob is a one-worlder. If Bob's only got $5 in his pocket, that's Bob's world. And I'll say, hey, Bob, I said, let's go to the movie tonight. It's a good movie playing. He'll say, uh, uh, Tony, I can't do it. I've only got five bucks. You know? And his whole countenance will be, he's not glowing like he did normally, does normally. And he'll be sort of despondent and down. He's, uh, you know, not at his peak, not vital like he ought to be. Bob's got a sister. Her name is Betty. Betty's a two-worlder. If Betty's only got $5 in her pocket, you know what Betty's going to tell you? Betty's going to say, I am rich. I am abundant. I've got it all. I'm opulent. You know what? Mm -hmm. Betty does. Betty's rich. Bob's a struggling. Here's the point. There is nobody standing over us with a whip telling us what we have to think. We can think anything we want at any given time and thus via the law of attraction create whatever we want at any given time. And you can be laying in bed in the morning not feeling like going to work, feeling like uh, you've got health issues of some sort and you can tell yourself, I am well. I feel great. Well, that's how you get well. If the law of attraction works, which it does, that's how you get well. You start to see yourself in your highest light. See yourself already happy, healthy, whole, and humming with life. Picture the end result from the beginning. And that's the third key. And if I were to leave you with any message at all today, it would be these four words based upon what we've learned over all these 17 years of being in our intended circles and consciously manifesting. Envision only positive outcomes. You start doing that, you truly become an example setter. You truly become a difference maker. Indeed, you will be the ones, once you start to do that, to create a world of peace, a world of comfort for everyone you touch. Indeed, you will be the ones to create a golden age of manifestation for all the peoples of this world. And I salute you for it. It's been my great pleasure to be here this day. Thank you.